Good evening. My name is Erin Jo Ritchie, and I'm going to be telling you a little bit about brain implants, mental communication, and telepathy. Our modern day EEG technology actually owes a little bit of something to the idea of telepathy. Hans Berger, one of the founders of the EEG machine, um, actually switched to the study of brain waves after he and his sister experienced something that they described as like a telepathic event when he was in an accident. Now, flash forward to the 1990s, and researchers had begun implanting, um, putting chips in the brains of mice, rats, and cats. And this allowed them to study um, brain responses, neural signals, and to decode and transcribe these um, responses in your brain. In the last 10 years, this research has actually switched to the study of monkeys, and these monkeys have brain implants that allow them to control a computer mouse or a joystick just by thinking about the movements. And the monkey in this picture is actually controlling a robotic arm to feed itself just by thinking about the actions that are required to bring that arm to its mouth. Now, researchers are very hopeful that if a monkey can feed itself with a robotic arm or control a computer mouse, just by thinking about the necessary actions, the same technology can be applied to humans who have lost the ability to communicate or move, such as patients with locked-in syndrome. And in fact, there are now studies being done with humans who have brain implants that allow them to control a computer mouse or a cursor and type out messages. And there's even some EEG devices that people are experimenting with where they're able to control the movement of a wheelchair by thinking about the actions. Now, if you want to get in on this um, mental communication technology, there are actually several different consumer companies that produce these EEG headbands that you can wear. You can buy them for $300 or less. A lot of them are targeted at gamers. Um, you wear them, and it allows you to control your own computer mouse or your joystick. There's actually some computer games and video games and software that come with some of these. They have SDKs if you want to develop your own. Um, it's a lot of fun, and it's uh, pretty crazy, actually, to play with. And another area that sort of jumped into this um, consumer area of mental communication is actually the automotive industry. And they are currently doing tests where drivers would wear something like an EEG headband and would be able to control the volume and audio controls of their cars, air conditioning, temperature controls, just by thinking about the actions required for those changes. Now, don't worry, because they currently aren't doing any studies where drivers would control the car just by thinking about it, yet, <laughs> at least. So you don't actually have to wear a really crazy get up on your head or a mask or headgear like these people are if you want to practice telepathy. The idea behind the more invasive brain implant procedure is that a silicon chip is placed in the human brain in conjunction with some specific neurons and it th it's then able to pick up on your electric signals, your brain responses, and to transcribe that, the signals into the emotions and actions, the feelings, um, what you're really thinking. And then that information is passed off, allowing um, people to control other devices. The US government has jumped into this area of research. And this year, DARPA actually has a $4 million budget for something called Project Silent Talk. And it's a study of mental communication between soldiers. And they're actually looking at EEG responses from commonly used warfield terms. And they are monitoring the responses in the brain, matching them up to the appropriate terms, and then transmitting that information to other soldiers non-verbally. Naturally, with something of this magnitude, some people have um, come up with some objections and questions. Um, one of them is that it is now technically, theoretically possible for humans to communicate with one another mentally with some of these brain implants. However, it is also technically, theoretically possible right now for a hacker to get into the system and gain access to the information that's being transmitted. Another concern is that brain implants is not a cheap procedure. It's not technically covered by your insurance right now. And so this is something that might become taken up by the wealthy and the elite. In conclusion, though, I want to leave you with um, a thought that I recently heard a researcher say in response to information about the future of technology and devices, and that is that 
technologies that help humans to communicate will ultimately always succeed. Thank you.